Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded. Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair! Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid. I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with you. But Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope, but it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night! Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Eh, probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. I loved this movie concept. It's a perfect blend of sci-fi elements with classic nostalgia. It just works on so many levels! This movie was so awesome! When I was a little kid, I used to watch it at my grandpa's. The alien laser sound effects were so scary! 50 movies are great! It's okay where it is right now. Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Eh, probably Nick. Hey, Vinny, Vinny! Shh! Shut up, Nick! I'm grounded! Oh, yeah. Well... Me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiment near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked. Chicks. On TV. Those are four words, but... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, all right? This used to be my grandma's TV. It's black and white, and the antenna doesn't really pick anything up. But it works with my video games, and that's really the only thing I need. The best console that ever existed, and it's all mine! Eight whole bits of raw power! This and the TV are staying put. I won a long legal battle with Dad to have them here.
I removed my bike pegs after a stunt went terribly wrong. One of Luke Masters. I think he would look silly fighting a regular sized person. It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. These kinds of figures are for looking, not playing. An Empire Spacecraft Model E90. It can travel at light speed with ease. My nightstand only has dirty shoes and some Swamp Man comics. No more cool stuff hiding here. This is my personal library of movie companion books. I've got a lot of trivia about classic horror. Did you know that Universal made two Dracula movies in 1931? There was a Lugosi one in English and another one in Spanish. Personally, I like the Spanish one more. It's my super comfy bed. No comic books hiding below it this time. Doc Martinez told me I should avoid heavy lifting if I want to grow taller. And Samantha Silverman is taller than me. So that's a no-go for now. It's just a light switch. I'm grounded, so I'm not supposed to leave. Through the door... My wardrobe is locked and I don't remember where I left the key. I know, it's weird. But I guess it's the price a man has to pay to keep his privacy. It's locked. My wardrobe is... But I guess it's the price I'm... The door is locked. I don't recall where I left the key. The zipline goes directly to the treehouse window. When Brian Broken Arms Tuscan tried that last year, he earned his nickname. Since then, he doesn't hang out with us anymore. Nick can be an asshole sometimes, but he's one of my best friends. Hey! What? Are you sure Tony made a signal to Scrambler? Yes, yeah, of course. Probably. Maybe. The point is, there is a big chance of seeing uncensored adult movies tonight, and you shouldn't miss it! Isn't Tony grounded too? Yes, but his grandmother's deaf as a doornail. Remember the time we hit a llama in Tony's basement? She never found it. Yeah, I guess she won't notice us either. Can you help me get out? Yeah, sure, jump, I'll catch you. You said that to Eddie Martinez and he broke a leg. That's different, Eddie Martinez is fat. He's not my friend and his parents don't know mine. Forget it, I'm not gonna jump. Is anyone around? The coast is clear, you are safe to escape. Perfect. It's South Plains at night, what do you expect? Everyone is sleeping or watching TV. Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zip line? Isn't that like kinda risky? I mean, you could fall, your dad is going to find you all crippled, then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my home. 
Okay, I understand. I guess a night of free pay-per-view cable is worth the risk. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! When Brian Broken Arms Tuscan tried that last year, he earned his nickname. Since then, he doesn't hang out with us anymore. I can't talk to that. If I attach these to a pulley, it should be able to slide properly. If I attach these to a pulley, it should be able to slide properly. These flowers are colorful, smell great, and best of all, my sister is allergic to them. Hey, there's the key to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud, man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Rad! Hey, my old Roboto Battle Station! What were you doing there? Dad's been on my case about cleaning this up all week. But now's not the best time. Okay, this is my one-way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin! Hey, Tony! We're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? 
Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. If you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it. And in season two, things get much better with the first tooth pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. The vegetation's really dense here. I can't find anything in this bush. Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. It smells funny. I'm not touching that. It looks like it was hit by a lightning. Or a fireball. Maybe the alien did this? No, Vinny was right. It was definitely a lightning strike. It was like that a week ago when I went hiking with my dad. Timber! Now we can cross. 
This water's ice cold. Not a good season for swimming. This rusty thing controls the flow of the stream. I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. This tree gives me the creeps. It's a tree, all right, and it's not going anywhere. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? We saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick, pretend to be bigger. Wolves almost never attack adults. Go away. I've got a mortgage to pay. Shoo, shoo. Really? Shut up. It's working. Shoo, shoo. I have three kids and a boring job. Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? Let's scare them by acting aggressive. I'll charge them. You cover me. Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped. Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers, and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? Okay, those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait! Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you... What the hell? Run! Let's get to the treehouse. Okay. Here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so, in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are? 
Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Some thick bush. It's Ariscolis pariflora, also known as bottle brush buckeye. How do you know that? I can't tell lettuce from spinach. It's all about training your memory. I can't go carrying a whole bush around. The tag says, when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. There's some telly marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, two, orange, four, five, uh, twenty-six of them. I don't want to carry that around. Water's not supposed to smell like that. Man, I'm not touching that. It's some kind of shrub. It's Slethra almifolia, commonly known as sweet pepper bush. What? How do you know that? Are you a botany nerd now too? No. My grandmother's into gardening. The bull warned us about peeping in through his bullet holes. I prefer not to mess with the bull. The edges are all twisted and pointy. It's a bull with flaming horns. I guess you can't take that bull by the horns. <laughs> uh, the paint is dry. Seems like the garbage collector doesn't come here very often. Let's see what we got. Bingo! Three things that are not completely garbage. A Jumpy Joe toy, a chipmunk's cassette, and a number five wrench. Jumpy Joe and the chipmunk's tape are clearly garbage. Okay, I'll ditch the chipmunks, but I'm keeping Jumpy Joe. It's vintage. Water's not supposed to smell like that. Hi, Bull! Hey, kids. You here to play some more video games? I got a new one. We need your help. There's a killer creature from outer space in town! Holy shit, what? A killer alien? That sounds dangerous! You should stay away from it. Are you going to help us? As much as I want to lend a hand with space hunting, I'm really busy. You are playing video games! Oh yeah, these things can be real addictive. And believe me, I know about addictive shit. 
So, are you going to help us? No, I really can't. You see that guy over there? Yes? Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. I have to make him talk. Can you do that later? He can't escape. No, this is one of those clients you don't want to mess with. But there is a creature from outer space here in South Plains! Believe me, Kino. If they think I'm double-crossing them, they will come for me. Even if the whole cast of Galaxy Wars is running around town. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? I see unusual stuff all the time. The guy handcuffed in the bathroom, for instance. Would you mind being more specific? Did you see an alien creature? No. Are you sure? Does the alien resemble a Colombian mobster? No. Then I did not see it. What is that guy doing handcuffed in the bathroom? Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. Now I have to make him talk. But he's unconscious. Yeah, I kind of overdid my bad thug, good thug routine. But what could I do? There was no good thug. I think that's the downside of working alone. What did that guy steal? What do I always tell you? That stabbing someone is easier if that someone doesn't know he is about to be stabbed? Yeah, but what else? The less we know about your work, the better for us. What game are you playing? Maze Quest! Oh, this game is awesome! Did you know that if you beat this game, you can send a letter with a code to the developers of the game? And you can win a golden crown! A real solid golden crown! Tubular! Yeah, finally a game that inspires some emotions in real life. Can you help us hunt the alien? I would love to, but I can't. I'm in the middle of something important. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Hmm... Okay. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind... This game is really unfair. I told you, this game is just unfair. These comics are awesome! Full of violence, swearing, and nudity? Yeah, nudity! I'm starting to see a pattern. Hey, kiddo. Leave that be. At least let me finish one before you steal it. At this point, I can barely follow the plot. But I've never taken any of your comics. I'm not talking about you. I mean him. Hey, I'll bring him back. Uh, no thanks. I don't want him back. You can at least ask next time. Stealing stuff will get you into a lot of trouble. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Can I have this one? Nope. Still gotta read the ending. I want to know if the She-Cyborg takes over the Mutant Coyote world. 
a bunch of greasy, smelly boxes. Do you realize that this man's only nourishment is pizza? What do you think I am, a goddamn ninja turtle? I eat cereal in the morning and bacon. And sometimes I even eat burgers in the car. Why would I want some old greasy pizza box? I have no idea. I think this brand of whiskey is the only thing the bull drinks. Could you leave those there? I'm saving them for practice with Monica. I'm sure it would be better if you use a real target. <laughs> a real target. A paper target doesn't explode into a thousand pieces when you hit it. Call me old fashioned, but bottles are the way to go. It's a huge metal box with a padlock. It's really heavy. And locked. I wonder what's inside. You don't want to know. Come on, what you got in there? Is it a machine gun? A bazooka? A cannon? Think smaller, but measured in megatons. It's an Atari 2600! Ah, the graphics are great! There's a lot of colors on screen! Too bad it isn't compatible with my console. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do! Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. I told you, this game is just unfair. This couch is a mess. Yeah, I lost a candy bar in there last week. If you find it, you can keep it. Yuck! He's the most awesome grown-up we know. He swears, plays video games, he's always in a good mood, he knows how to fight and how to shoot. And he eats a lot of pizza. I'm playing right now, kid. I can teach you how to fight later. You won't learn how to fight bullies by reading books. Rather not touch that. There's a huge cockroach hiding between the slices. There are a couple slices left. From a few days ago, looks like. It's only been two days. It's still fine. Go ahead. Grab a slice. No, thanks. It's okay where it is right now. That game is so unfair. Not the best idea to change the channel when someone is playing. I think this brand of whiskey is the only thing the bull drinks. Could you leave those there? I'm saving them for practice with Monica. I'm sure it would be better if you use a real target. <laughs> a real target? A paper target doesn't explode into a thousand pieces when you hit it. Call me old fashioned, but bottles are the way to go. There's Monica, the bull's favorite shotgun, along with all kinds of rifles, weapons, and ammo. 
No, you don't want to touch that. Weapons are not for kids. But there's an alien killing people outside! I don't care what's going on. You're just going to end up injuring yourself or putting your friends in danger. At best, you'll be easy targets. Kids and weapons don't mix well. You're smart guys. Stay away from guns. At least the toilet is flushed. It's a heavily beaten man chained to a pipe. Is he dead? Hope not. Dead men can't talk. And I need answers. Don't worry. He's breathing. A regular shower. Sir? Are you okay? Wake up! No use. He's out of it. Hello? He's unconscious. The shower is on? And the guy is still unconscious. Sir, are you okay? Wake up! No use. He's out of it. That doesn't have any number 5 bolts. That doesn't have any number 5 bolts. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. Hi, Bull. Hi, kids. Can you help us hunt the alien? I would love to, but I can't. I'm in the middle of something important. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Hmm... Okay. Goodbye! Goodbye, kids. That doesn't have any number 5 bolts. It's okay where it is right now. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. I don't think so. doesn't have any number 5 bolts.
the shower is on, and the guy is still unconscious. That doesn't have any number five bolts. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. That doesn't have any number five bolts. That doesn't have any number five bolts. That doesn't have any number five bolts. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. A regular shower. The shower is on, and the guy is still unconscious. Can I have this one? Not yet, kid. When you get old and stupid, I'll share. Can I have this one? Not yet, kid. When you get old and stupid, I'll share. Could you leave those there? I'm saving them for practice with Monica. I'm sure it would be better if you use a real target. <laughs> a real target? A paper target doesn't explode into a thousand pieces when you hit it. Call me old fashioned, but bottles are the way to go. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. That doesn't have any number five bolts. I'd 
rather not touch that. There's a huge cockroach hiding between the slices. That doesn't have any number 5 bolts. I can't play with Jumpy Joe there. This theater is almost 50 years old. My grandpa met my grandma here. The door is closed. There's a sign that says, Temporarily closed for repairs. I want to see this one. I heard it's a live action movie with no human actors at all. And it's full of weird creatures. I like the concept. And the special effects are supposed to be amazing. It's a movie about vampires. I don't know why they bother making these anymore. How come they tried to compete with the masterpiece that is 30's Dracula? I'm not sure. I would give this movie a chance. Your nostalgia for a past you never even lived through could make you miss the masterpieces of the present. Yeah, you could regret that in the future. It's a blue car. It's a Ford Escort 1985 model. In this model, the previous 1.6 liter engine was replaced with a 1.9 liter GT engine. What? I like cars! I don't judge you for being into plants. That doesn't have any number 5 bolts. It's a red car. It's a 1986 Audi 5000 CS Turbo Quattro. The engine's turbocharged and intercooled five in line. Got an iron block and aluminum head and boasts Bosch KE Jetronic fuel injection. The owner's new girlfriend. Uh, she's a looker, all right. Uh, kind of dumb, though. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, guys. Oh, it's you. Uh, Nick, right? I already told you, we don't sell those kinds of magazines. Oh, well, yeah, I know. Are you trying to buy adult magazines from the comic book store? That's none of your business. Okay. Are you going to buy something? No, I mean, maybe. Well, then, uh, how can I help you? What comic would you recommend to us? My personal favorite, Rocco vs. Alien. It has a fascinating story. Are you sure? It sounds terrible. Oh no, it's really well written. The tension builds more and more each round. My favorite part is when Rocco realizes that the blood of the alien is like acid and uses it to blind a ninja who is helping the alien from outside the ring. There are ninjas in it too? Yes! <laughs> oh, and the plot twist in the end! You are going to love it if you have a soft spot for emotional moments. Goodbye! See you later.
This store has a lot of merch. I remember when it was just comics. So many games to play. When I grow up, I gotta have a shelf like this. I'd have to pay for them. And they're expensive. It's a box full of bags and pretty much trash. Plastic bags, foam, cardboard boxes... Hey! Here is a lovely Christmas red light bulb! This is not a Christmas light. It's an infrared light bulb. It even says it on the side. Yeah, I bought it by mistake. You can keep it if you want. Tubular. He's finding a tangle of Christmas lights. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I've seen you around. You're the kid next door, right? You live with the... Uh, uh, with the... With the old deaf lady. Yes, she is my grandmother. Her name is Ophelia, my name is Tony, and no, I'm not visiting her, I live with her. Cool. Well, that was a lot of information, so, uh, my name is Gary Wilson. You can call me Gary. I work in the video game industry. My wife is Victoria Wilson. I live with her, and she will kill me if I don't set up these Christmas lights tonight. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I made a mess with this cable. Now I can't reach the plug with it. I think I need another extension cord. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Ah, oh, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Have you seen something unusual tonight? Other than this extremely complicated mess, no, not really. Am I missing something? No, not really. But if you happen to see an alien creature, please tell us. I'll be sure to let you know. What video games have you made? Oh, well, I've made many games. The last game I was involved with was Maze Quest The Stone World. There's real-life treasure for the players brave enough to beat it. That game is extremely unfair, and the clues it gives are insufficient to correctly solve a puzzle. No, 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 no. <laughs> you will realize there are subtle clues in the comics, toys, and cereals on how to beat the game. Do you know how expensive the comics, toys, and cereals are? Yep. That's why we made the game that way. I heard the game is impossible. You want to know how to beat it? Let's make a deal. You bring me an extension cord, and I'll tell you how to solve the unicorn riddle. Can you tell us how to find the unicorn too? No, I wasn't involved in that part of the game. But it can't be that hard. Is making video games as fun as it sounds? Yeah, making games is awesome. Do you like coding? No. Do you like doing art? No. Do you like repetitive stuff? No. 
then <laughs> you're not going to enjoy making games that much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. It's Tony's garage. It's full of his science projects. And his grandma's old car. It's closed. What's this? This is my new Geiger counter. I modified it. It's really sensitive. What are you supposed to do with it? It measures radioactivity levels. If you get near something radioactive, it'll start clicking and whining and stuff. Cool! Great idea. If the alien comes from space, chances are he's been exposed to all kinds of radiation. We should be able to detect him with this. Him? Or his spaceship? His ship, his pet, his socks. Anything that came from space should have higher rad levels than normal and set off the Geiger counter. The faster and louder it beeps, the closer you are to the radioactive source. <laughs> rad levels. This game sucks. Landing on the carrier is almost impossible. May I have it? Yeah, sure. But I have to warn you, my cousin gave it to me because it's broken. Supposedly, when you turn it on, the screen just goes blue or white. I guess he wanted me to repair it, but I don't have anywhere to test it. Tony's bedspread has ponies on it. Yeah, my grandmother gave me this bedspread for my birthday. She thinks ponies are cool. I don't want to carry that around. I have no idea what this is. What is it? I've explained what this does at least a half dozen times. We're not going through it again. Can we use it? No. What happens if I press... Don't. If we don't want to get in trouble... More trouble... We should stay inside this room. Please don't open that. If my grandmother sees you, she'll be mad at me. I'm supposed to be grounded. Okay. This is a great movie! Did I tell you that it's based on the 60s short story, 8 o'clock in the morning? Yes, you already told me that. Many, many times. I liked the aliens' costumes. We already talked about this. It's my poster. It's Tony's computer. He's got some pretty cool games. It's a Commodore 64C. It's got a whole 64 kilobytes of RAM. All the memory anyone would ever need on a computer. I wish I had one of these at home. I would be playing all day long. I heard there are really good graphic adventures for personal computers. They're like a movie, but a video game. Nah, graphic adventures are lame. I like racing games. This is no time to play with the computer. You always come up with the lousiest excuses to keep us from playing with this thing! I think preventing an alien invasion is a pretty good excuse. It's off. I turn it on. It isn't working. I think the alien signal messed up your antenna. Ah, uh, damn it.
Tony's front door has a Christmas wreath up. I think your grandma is watching a soap opera. Oh yeah, she likes Malcolm Crest. Malcolm Crest sucks. You should tell her to watch Maria Maria and the Marias. You watch soap operas? No, my mom does. Why pink plastic flamingos in Christmas costumes? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. They look alright to me. Those flamingos are an eyesore. But it's not up to me to save anybody from their own terrible taste. It's a big Santa statue with some reindeer. These people take Christmas seriously. I can't move this thing. Not even an inch. That doesn't have any number five bolts.